This is my spooky story, The Bell in the Woods, by Cohen Burns. Chapter 1, The Bell. I was on a walk in the woods with my mom, dad, and little sister, Jenny. We were at the cemetery that had been there in the woods for a century and a half. When we heard a loud, screeching bell, we started sprinting home, scared to death. The next night, we, the next night my parents were asleep, and I decided to go back in the woods. I explored for about an hour, but I never heard the bell. Chapter 2, Gallows. I decided to go deeper into the woods, but after a few minutes, I started to see rows of gallows that had animal corpses on them, and I started to see blood stains leading to an abandoned-looking cabin. I decided to go go into the cabin. When I went, when I went in, I found butcher knives and shotguns and rows of hunting trophies. But I realized there were stairs leading down below the house. Chapter three, pig. I went down the stairs and I found a hanging worm dangling from the ceiling. I was scared to death and I started to hear breathing down my neck. I turned around to see a guy in a pig mask with an ax in his hand. He grabbed a hold of me. I was kicking and punching and I finally got out. I started sprinting. He was right behind me. He tripped on the wall and that gave me time to hide behind a tree. I was holding my breath, hoping not to be slaughtered by his ax. But then I heard I heard him run back to his cabin. That's when I saw a policeman run to me. He picked me up and carried me to his car, took me home. After that experience, I never went back in those woods again.